Hello, everyone. My name is Ildefonso de la Cruz Morales, and I am the principal analyst here at Omdia, leading the research on mission critical communications. Today, I have the pleasure to be invited by Hytera to talk about a very important topic, the next generation of mission critical communications and the decisive factors that set and shape the direction and overall landscape of these technologies. The very nature of mission critical communications forces them to be one step ahead always and to continuously evolve and improve in order to guarantee its successful performance under the most difficult circumstances. This can be a challenge, not only for industry manufacturers, but also for the end users that rely on mission critical technology to protect their communications. Hytera has understood the reality of mission critical communications and its constant evolution. And it is for this reason that they have partnered with us, Omdia, to conduct a comprehensive study that identifies the trends the mission critical communications industry is currently undergoing and the direction that next generation mission critical networks will take. Omdia is the perfect partner for this task because we are a global research leader that helps our clients connect the dots across the different technology ecosystems. Here at the Critical Comms team, we empower our mission critical clients to make the best informed decisions by helping, me, by helping them leverage decades of industry leading expertise, proprietary data, our research tools and strategic analysis. Through in-depth analysis of the historical and current trends, Omdia helps forecast and navigate the technology market and lead that transformation. The goal of our collaboration today between Omdia and Hytera is to analyze the current technological status of mission critical and, understands, and understand the different factors that drive the transformation towards the next generation mission critical networks. The key findings have been summarized in a white paper and the major highlights will be addressed during this session. These insights will provide the guidance to achieve the right path towards the next generation of mission critical communication solutions. But first of all, it is important to understand what mission critical communications are. Mission critical communications are those essential to the survival of an, of an organization, whether a human life is or safety is at risk, or critical business functions and applications could be affected. In recent years, we have observed how the frequency, the magnitude, the scale of these threats have evolved. We have global warming, we have terrorism, we have a global pandemic, and plenty of security challenges that have changed in character and increased in scale. These disasters could strike us anywhere from metropolitan areas to rural areas. And it is in those situations that reliable and secure communications become of paramount importance. Communications can really determine the success or failure of these mission critical operations and even save lives. Now, mission critical communications are usually associated with public protection and disaster relief. This could be law enforcement, firefighting, emergency services, and so on. But there is a long list of industry vertical users that heavily rely on critical communications to enable important processes and operations. These are commonly referred to as business critical or enterprise critical. Within this group, we can find energy and utilities, transportation, and industrial manufacturing. It is important to understand what type of technologies are used in mission critical communication networks and the nature of these technologies. Licensed mobile radio, or LMR, is a group of narrow band communication technologies that mission critical users rely on for two way voice communications. They enable instant, secure, and reliable voice communication links. They have traditionally focused on the ability of delivering voice communications, even under circumstances where conventional networks cannot meet the requirements needed. So why is LMR so important when talking about mission critical communications? The revolutionary offering 
is the reliability, robustness, and security of the communication. And it is that what makes LMR indispensable in the market. LMR and mission critical communications are no strangers to transformation. Actually, LMR technology is currently ongoing a transition from analog to digital. This transformation has been happening for the past decade, and it is not complete yet. Omdia predicts that by 2025, 80% of the LMR technology will be digital. Now, LMR, as I mentioned, is completely established in the global market. Heavily rely on by mission critical user groups because of its performance and because of its reliability. Omdia forecast a continuous growth across all regions for LMR radio shipments. As you can see, the global LMR radio shipment market is expected to grow to up to 6.3 billion US dollars by 2025. Asia being the largest market dominated by analog transitioning to quickly into cost optimized solutions like DMR and also Tetra, uh, followed by the closely by the Americas and Europe and Middle East relying heavily on, on Tetra technology and DMR. However, with the increasing complexity of the world today, mission critical technology and the communication needed needs to step up and go further than voice. And this is where new transformation or disruption is happening and where broadband comes into play. It is undeniable that the world is becoming more hyper-connected. Even commercial technology needs to support higher demands, higher speeds, more services. We find a similar trend in mission-critical communications. Broadband technology, 4G, LTE, offers a long list of benefits to mission-critical communication users. The most common drivers are firstly the higher speeds that broadband communication offers as opposed to what narrowband LMR users can, can get. Consequently, they can support more connections and more demanding multimedia applications like mission critical video and mission critical data on top of voice. Now, also the fact that it relies on open standards, 3GPP, opens the flexibility to collaboration and interworking between agencies, between technologies, between user groups, which had been a bit of a challenge in the past. Also, the fact that this technology is now shared between the professional mission critical users and commercial users can leverage an economy of scale that brings the promise of cost reduction. So LTE really has the, the attention of the mission critical community. We can see it in the numbers. For example, the investments in infrastructure for mission critical broadband technology will more than double in the next five years. We see more and more devices growing with more numbers of ruggedized devices specifically designed with mission critical re uh, requirements coming into the market and becoming part of the whole mission critical ecosystem. And also in the adoption of push to talk over cellular or mission critical voice over cellular, which is the voice solution using broadband mission critical technology. Public safety is one of the verticals that has shown clear interest in adopting broadband and enhancing their existing LMR networks. Now, this phenomenon of having several different technologies addressing mission critical users um, begs the following question. Is broadband technology going to kill LMR and dominate the mission critical market? No, the market will not behave like that. As mentioned before, the reliability and the security that LMR offers for voice to their mission critical users is indispensable in the market. Therefore, the adoption will be very gradual and we will see mission critical LTE broadband enhancing mission critical networks, opening a space for coexistence. This is the beginning of a hybrid era and next generations will be guided 
by a principle of convergence. This convergence will help guarantee and protect the reliability of the communications, the resilience supported by LMR technology, and the seamless coverage for all the solutions. Redundancy, security, strong pillars necessary for the mission critical communication user groups. And last but not least, interoperability. As I mentioned, this is something that had been a bit of a challenge in the past, but the fact that the direction of mission critical communication is relying on open standards will open the door to interworking on many levels between technologies and between mission critical user groups. This convergence will not just be a transition happening uh, by adding or changing radios. It will be multi-layered. It will be a total transformation or evolution on many levels. On the infrastructure network, we'll see LMR and we'll see broadband coexisting with other technologies that will bring added value. Consequently, we will see a transformation of the devices, we'll see more hybrid devices coming to the market, and we'll also see more platforms and new applications and new business ecosystems that will empower these convergence. Now, when we think about building these next generation mission critical networks, the convergence needs to permeate all the stages of the mission critical. From planning stages by allocating the right spectrum, creating standards, regulatory authorities championing this convergence, a uh, rich catalog from, from industry suppliers, et cetera, but also go up in the pyramid to reach the convergence of technologies networks combining LMR and broadband with dedicated or commercial or hybrid approaches, platforms that combine and unify the services, new applications, new services, and hybrid devices. And finally, at the top of the pyramid, the operation and management of this large ecosystem and new procedure changes and new partnerships that we'll observe in the industry. One might also think that by having this convergence, the complexity of the network will increase to levels that are sustainable. And that's where the key offerings of unified platforms will provide common resources for these different coexistent technologies, and they'll become a key part of the mission critical network. Open platforms will simplify applications and procedures, and therefore, will enable cost-effective and efficient convergence and coexistence of technologies for mission-critical networks. These platforms must be flexible and open to address new services and new applications and new technologies to be completely future-proofed. Another important transformation will be the application and services enabled by this mission-critical communication on top of voice. Voice has always been the key application for mission critical users, and it will still be the most important. That's why LMR and mission critical push to talk over cellular will maintain the throne. However, it is unquestionable that the market is demanding visual communication as well. Therefore, mission critical video will be, for lack of a better expression, the next killer application. The numbers in the industry show that the situational awareness information coming from body-worn cameras, CCTV networks, are definitely demanded by user groups. Last but not least, there will be a movement towards automation, including artificial intelligence, machine learning, and edge computing processing that will help minimize the latency and the processing times for applications like face recognition or license plate recognition, even robotic applications for industrial users, the benefits will be plentiful. As I said, the transformation of this convergence is multi-layered. It doesn't stop at the mission critical communications at the front line. It permeates and it includes the control rooms the hyper connectivity that the world is experiencing today will show into how control rooms and dispatchers are able to capture data 
not just from traditional calls, but also from video, from text, emails, social media, and they, the enhancements will help them process it faster and most efficiently. Therefore, being able to feed it back into agent, into the agent groups in the field to enhance their decision-making process without limitations of technology. One big question in the market is whether LTE is ready or we should wait for 5G. Despite having many commercial uses for 5G, there are still some concerns for the readiness of 5G mission critical at the moment. Users are asking themselves, should we invest right now? The cost is higher. The standardization might not be fully completed. The device ecosystem might not be there yet. These questions are very valid. But the answer is, there's no need to wait. The convergence and openness on, of these next generation mission critical networks mean that LTE broadband can enhance the current demands. But following this convergence principle, the next generation will be future proof. So they will address the needs of today and the needs of the future can be answered by future 5G. The benefits of 5G will, that will, will be the ultra reliability, the low latency, the massive machine communications, all of these will have a definite positive impact into the next generation of mesh critical communications. Now, to finish up, I have summarized the key points of the next generation mission critical networks. The first one, as I said, multi-layered convergence with interoperability at its core. The second one, a diverse ecosystem of applications, devices, and solutions. Next generations of mission critical networks will embrace the power of multimedia. Voice will be enhanced with video and mission critical data, for sure. These transformation will happen both at the front line and also at the next generation of control rooms. And finally, next generation mission critical networks will be open, flexible, and future-proof. Thank you very much for your attention today. I hope you find this message very insightful.